Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, actually, yeah. I feel a bit surreal. Stepping into the dating limelight is former theatre stage manager Fiona. How long have you been single? Eight years. And have you been dating? Have you tried to...? I've tried, dabbled, failed. I get a bit fidgety and nervous, I think. Would you say you're sexy? Meh. Yeah. Um, I scrub up pretty well. <laughs> Is this like a new outfit? Is this? Might be. Might be. Might be. This is lovely. Is, is that right? Perfect. Yes. Yeah. You did good. I don't really believe in love at first sight. I think it takes time. I was always told if you see a guy and if you'd score more than seven out of ten for looks, then it's never going to last. I really like guys that are taller than me. Nice warm eyes, a bit of a cheeky grin, comfortable in his self. All right, you can. You look lovely. Thank you very much. It's a big thing for me wearing the kilt. I love wearing the kilt. Yeah. Definitely uh, patriotic and, yeah. a, and a true Scotsman. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> too much information at the dinner table. It's just, lunchtime, come I on. <laughs> so what do you do for a job? I'm a project manager. All right. I'm an electrical engineer, part-time, uh, which is handy with having the, the kids. Oh, uh, how old are they? 10 and 11. I've got a six-year-old boy. Cute age. A great age. I'm, I'm a widow. Snap. Really? I'm a widow. So I've been widowed eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's tough. Isn't it half? <laughs> we, we had five years and then his funeral was in the church we got married in. My wife passed away four years come February. Sorry to hear that. When she passed, she was only 34. Oh, my um, God. That was a phone call from her mum, you know, you better get home, she's not well. I drove home and was met by ambulances. I couldn't even get up my street. So I followed the ambulance out to the hospital. And eventually we were told it was a brain disease. They didn't hold out much hope to go home and prepare for the worst. <laughs> Going home to tell and the kids that mummy might, might have to go to the angels. Nobody should have to tell that to their children. She passed away literally the next day. So it's just, it'll never leave me. When you've been through it, you just, yeah, you can't, you'll never forget. Tears every single day, crying ourselves to sleep, asking for, for mum to come back. She was an amazing mum, truly amazing, best mum ever. My husband had cancer, so at the start of the treatment. They send you to the Sticky Magazine clinic, <laughs> assisted conception. We're going to go and save stuff, and then once you've done your treatment, you come back and see us with a plan of doing IVF. That was our plan. We're supposed to get married. We're supposed to have kids. We're supposed to bring them up. We've been cheated of doing it the kind of normal way. But a year after he died, I kind of decided, no, I'm going to do the IVF. My son was born almost two and a half years after my husband died. I remember him asking him when he was about two, I picked him up from the nursery one day and he said, where's my daddy? And I was just like, yeah. he's longing for the daddy that he just doesn't know apart from photographs. That's great, speaking to somebody that's kind of... Oh, I know, it's, you know, these it's quite hard going, isn't it? I'm, I'm at the stage now where, I, where I'm ready. Yeah. I'm kind of in a better place now, that's for sure. Yeah, snap, yeah. snap. Because I've accepted what's happened. I feel I'm ready that I can actually give somebody else my time and my love. I'm, I'm in a good place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time for me. Do you believe you can fall in love more than once? Yeah, definitely. They're really nice guys out there, so I'm pretty sure there's my, my next soulmates out there. <laughs> Did you think anybody would turn up with a kilt on? 
No, so good on you. They don't have to change my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to wash my kilt though. If I spread my legs too far, then... Right, I'll just keep my eye above the table. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.